Hello everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right. So, um, I don't really have anything to show you because the last video was the pour away, um, resin rainbow piece, which you saw the dried results in the last video. Um, so just a quick, a quick few things. I have teamed up with Loli Vefi once again, and we are doing a collaboration kit for the month of April. Um, I will tell you and show you all those details once I, got, I bring you guys down to the table because it'll just be easier to show you guys what is in the kit. Um, don't forget, I'm, I'm heading off to Seattle. My flight leaves for, uh, tomorrow for Seattle. I am super excited. I cannot wait. Um, for those of you who are going to be taking my classes, I cannot wait to see you all. Check your emails. I have sent everybody who is attending my classes an email with details. So if you are attending, please check your emails. Um, and there's still time to sign up. If you are thinking about it or want to come join last minute, you can do so. Um, go to www.fluidartexperience.com and check out all the info and sign up and take classes if you like. You still have time. Um, aside from Seattle, for those of you who know already and don't know, I am heading to Las Vegas for Poor Con. That is August 7th, 8th, and 9th. If you are interested in that information, the links are in the description below my video. Check that out. It is going to be another amazing event. Um, Shelly Art from Australia will be there and all kinds of other artists from all around the globe are going to be there. It is going to be another epic event and I'm so excited to be a part of it. All right, so that's really it. Um, I'm going to bring you guys down and I'm going to show you guys the awesome Loli Vefi collaboration kit that we have going for the month of April. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, let's do an unboxing of the Loli Vefi kit. All right, so here is what you are going to get. Didn't want to hit my tripod there. I better move these over. All right, let's start off. Well, I guess I'll start off with the stuff on the top. So you will get a uh, jumbo silicone mat. Okay, so you get a silicone mat. You will get the scraper with it. You will get a silicone stir stick. This is great if you're doing resin work. Resin peels off of this super easily. You will get your regular um, plastic stir stick as well. All right. Then you will get my favorite 20 bottles. These are the M series. They call it the M series because it does have, um, can you see that? There you go. Um, it's got them. Get that. Could you try again? No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> um, you get the okay. measurements. You get the measurements on the side. So anyways, you get 20 of these, which is amazing because this is obviously what I use every day for the last like four years. I've been using these low leave FU bottles. And then you get two of these. These are 15 and a half inch, so just shy of 16 inch MDF wood boards. Okay, so you get two of these, all right? And let me tell you something special. So aside from all of these, I'm, I love the fact that you get 20 bottles because I'm telling you, a lot of people say to me, Oh, well, when your bottle's empty, how do you clean it out? And how do I wash it so I can put a new color in it? Why do you want to put a new color in it? Just keep the same color in that bottle, refill it because you're going to want to use that color again at some point. And so just get yourself a new bottle. This is why I have, you can't see it behind me, but I have probably over 150 Loli Vefi bottles um, because there's just so many colors, right? So I never clean them out. I refill them with the same color. And then I, if I need to make a new color, I will make a new color. That is it. Now, let me show you the fun part of this kit. This is something new that um, Adriana from Loli Vefi has come up with. This is the greatest idea. So you get this super cute little binder. Okay, this little plastic binder. I think this is so cute. 
Okay, and this is what you get with it. You will get, this is the cover, okay? Now it, it'll come with sleeves and then you put these in the sleeves and then it goes in the little three ring, okay? So you will get the sleeves, you put this in the sleeve, okay? And then you get a recipe card. That's right, my friends. You will get a recipe card with all my ratios for the Dutch pour for various paint brands, Artist Loft, Liquitex Basics, Pebeo, Arteza, Deco Art, Atelier, Holbein, Amsterdam, Windsor, Newton. That is all here listed for you. They're the same ratios from my video number 434, but now you will have it on a nice printed paper that you can store inside this little binder here. But wait, there's more. Um, they, Loli Vefi has teamed up with other artist partners. And if they do a collaboration kit of their own, they will have their recipes sheets like this that you can add to your recipe book. So for example, Nancy Petrie Art, I hope I said that right. She is an amazing bloom artist on Instagram and she's got amazing recipes for her blooms and stuff like that. So if, and she does kits with Adriana from Loli Vefi all the time. So the next kit she does, she will have a recipe card from her kit, which you can then, if you purchase that kit, you will have her recipe for her blooms and her techniques and all of that, which you can then add to your binder. So you can get recipes from all kinds of various artists for various techniques. And when you get the recipe card, you will put it in the sleeve that it'll come with. I don't have it, but you get it in the sleeve and you will have a binder with a recipe book. Here's the catch though. The first 50 people to order my kit today or whenever first 50 people will get this in the kit, okay? After that, you have to buy this separately, all right? So keep that in mind. If you want this in the kit, you have to be one of the first 50 people to order it. Once the first 50 are done and sold, you can still get this, but it'll just be on the website like this plain. Um, you can't get it in with the kit. So keep that in mind. So if you are watching this and you want to get the kit, push pause, head on over to Loli Vefi, okay? Purchase the kit and then come back and finish watching my video. Now, this whole kit that I showed you, see, this is the second board. I've already primed it black, ready for today's painting. But the kit is worth $121. It is 34% off, so you get it all for 80 bucks, okay? But wait, there's more. <laughs> you can save an additional 10% off that $80 price using my code CANELA10, okay? So that is a steal. You get the book if you're one of the first 50 people to order, okay? So keep that in mind. Head on over to the website. Get it while you can, okay? And 80 bucks. 10% off, Canela 10, all right? There you go. Oh, I hope you guys enjoy it because the recipe book is going to be a really easy, handy tool when you are doing a pour and you don't have to go to a YouTube video and then write it down. It's already written down for you in a nice little binder. All right, let's get started to today's painting. I am using Loli Vefi's MDF Round. I have um, painted it black with my oxide black by Amsterdam and what I did is I have this little paint roller here this is I have it wrapped in plastic this is a foam sponge I get it from the dollar store okay the best thing I ever did was get this because you just throw some paint on it you roll it and there are no brush marks no street marks no nothing so go and get yourself one of these from the dollar store and um, I wrap it up in plastic because sometimes I need to reuse it. I do a second coat or a third coat. This has three coats of black on it. Um, and then if I leave this wrapped like this for a while, it stays pretty good. Otherwise, I take it off and I chuck it. You could wash it. I wash my white ones, but I don't mess with black because black is really messy. So I will just chuck it. But keep that in mind. My base paint, obviously, 
is not labeled on my bottle because this is a new bottle. This is <laughs> Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And then the colors I'm using, I'm gonna have some fun here. And if you wanna know how I mix my paints, everything, including the base, is mixed with water and Floetrol. For those of you who are new watching, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. That is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints. All right, that's again, the, what the recipe card is too. So keep that in mind. All right, colors I'm using today are going to be very interesting. This, again, not labeled, is that pearlized carbon black by Master's Touch. Um, it was gifted to me by a fellow viewer in the US. So I'm gonna use that. Then, a color I love but don't use very often is a metallic cobalt blue. So, and I guess I should leave it there. Metallic, metallic, oh my gosh. Metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. Then, I haven't used this color in forever and I totally forgot about it. Mauve, yes, mauve, that is how I pronounce it. Mauve, because that's how you pronounce it in Greek, by Holbein. Then I'm gonna add a little pearl cream by Arteza and then topping it off a new color that I don't know if I've used yet, but Thalo Blue Turquoise by Amsterdam, but it's the Expert Series. Now, if you're wondering what the Expert Series is, this is the Expert Series, okay? It's a small little tube, different from your regular standard series. Standard series, expert series, okay? Um, this is more highly pigmented, okay? So a lot of you ask me how I mix this. Follow my Amsterdam ratio. So for Amsterdam, I would add for the expert series, I add about three to ish, four grams less when I'm using the expert series. Everything else stays the same. Water stays the same, flow, flow trial stays the same. I just take about three to four grams less for the expert series. You know, I really contemplated whether I should put gold in this and now I'm kind of thinking about it. Oh, should I add gold? Like right here? Maybe I should because gold is just fantastic. Oh, I don't know, I didn't really think about that. I didn't have it in mind. Maybe I'll do two. It does come with two boards. So you know what, I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna stick to my gut, stick to what I originally had planned. I will do that and then I will do the second board and potentially put, try it with gold. So let me flood my board and I will be right back. All right, so the board is flooded and I think I may have put a little too much because that initial tip I did was a lot of paint. But anyways, that's fine. So composition wise now, I've always done my little line and a wispy. However, I really enjoyed that um, piece I did for my client where I fanned it all out and I left minimal negative space on the ends. A lot of you love that. So what I'm gonna do is kind of do somewhat the same thing but I'm gonna do like a half, half moon, I guess, or whatever, and just concentrate on the one side and just kind of blow out the one side and leave this side negative space. That is my plan. Let's see how that works. It doesn't always work. I don't know if I've done this before. I don't think I have. So let's just play around and try it out. So there, half moon, kind of whatever, crescent, call it whatever you want. But let's just see how this pans out. Um, so the key is, gosh, that looks beautiful on black. The key is this side's gonna be all covered, no negative space on this side, and negative space only on this side. So, all right, mauve, mauve. I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but we pronounce it mauve, 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 mauve whatever. All right. And it's Holbein. I should be a little more light-handed with that. I sh There's a lot down here. I squeezed less up here. All right. And then I was going to do silver, 
but I decided I really, 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 really love my Pearl Cream by Arteza. Not Arteza, apparently. It's Arteza. But I will still call it forever and ever. I will call it Arteza. And this beautiful blue. Say a little turquoise. Oh, these colors are going to be so pretty. Now, if this works out really well, I will do it again, but with gold. Because I really think it's going to be pretty with a gold hint to it. All right, pop the bubbles. All right. Uh, I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to work my way down and then figure the rest out as I go. Cross your fingers, let's do it. Well, that's interesting. So let me give you my thoughts. Um, I kind of actually, believe it or not, don't like this in it. And I'm really thinking now, how would it have looked different with the gold instead? And as I said, while I was doing it, Holbein really, really likes to take over. So you, every time I tell you guys to be very light-handed with the gold, that goes for Holbein paints too. Um, it goes, like, I mean, I love this. I don't know if you can see that really well on black, um, but this looks really great here. I'm okay with, kind of okay with this. I'm not happy with this. And then I'm not happy with this. And you know what? I have not scraped a painting in, those of you who watch my videos every time I release one, I have not scraped a painting in a long time and you know that. And I just might do it this time. I don't know. I don't know. Let me play with it and see what happens first. Yeah, no. Okay, that's actually better. That looks better. I'm still not happy with this. I'm still not happy with this. I'm like on the verge of scraping this. Really, I don't know. You guys might kill me if I do that though. You really might. I'm just, I, oh boy, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm looking for. Oh, here it is. <laughs> um, I'm not loving it. <gasps> I know. I'm, I'm just not loving it. I'm not loving it. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and save some of the black that hasn't been touched. I know it's horrible, isn't it? When was the last time you saw me do that? Like, literally, it, I can't even remember the last time I scraped a painting. Um, I just wasn't feeling it, and I'm actually not liking the mauve. I'm not liking it. So, I'm going to, let me just fix this, I'll be right back. Okay, I've changed it completely. We're, we're going different now. I've added a color, I've added two colors. Let me, let me tell you, I've got, I still have the Pearlized Carbon Black by Master's Touch. 
I have now added Royal Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza, Phthalo Blue Turquoise by Amsterdam Expert Series. Now notice I put it in the middle now. I had it at the top, last color on top. I didn't like the way it looked, so I've kind of put it in the middle now. 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Now I've added Pearl Lilac by Arteza, and I'm putting the Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft on top. So that is what I'm gonna do. Let's do this again. Okay, take two. All right, let's go. So take two. I liked the composition. It worked well. I just, I didn't like um, the colors. I, the mauve did not work for me. It, it just didn't make me happy. It took over a lot and I didn't like it. So I'm loving that purple. Now I'm going to, I think I'm going to be a little light handed on this because it there were some really dominant spots in my first blow out. Okay, light handed on the 24K. Oh, there's a little water goober in here because I just refilled this bottle not long ago. Let's get rid of that water goop. All right, 24K. I think this is gonna be so much better. It better be because I'm not scraping it. I don't like to scrape in general at all, um, let alone twice, so. There's a goober on the tip. There we go, that's better. Okay. I'm hoping this color palette is better. And metallic cobalt blue on top. All right. Let's pop the bubbles. All right, let's try this again. Take two, let's go. Oh my goodness. What is going on? It is, n I, I'm packing it in, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, I'm gone. <laughs> what is going on? this is not me I can't believe this I think I jinxed myself by saying I don't not gonna scrape it again for a second time and this looks horrendous I actually like the first one better um oh my gosh look what's happening on this side though I'm gonna let this sit because I'm leaving for Seattle tomorrow so I'm gonna literally gonna let this sit and the skins I'm gonna get out of this are going to be amazing. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so not happy with this. I'm really disappointed. This doesn't happen to me, this is horrible. <laughs> it's not going anywhere, can't do it. I can't do it. I don't, I'm so disappointed. I'm not happy with it. Oh my God, you guys. I really like this. I love this. This is just horrendous. I can't do it. I can't do it. I see, I'm scraping this way because I don't want to ruin this. It is not my day. Wow. That's, I'm actually really, okay, the first scrape I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, it happens. Now I'm actually kind of pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little mad right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna rethink this all. I'll be right back. Um, okay, so third time's a charm? 
Okay, in my four year plus YouTube career, there's only one video where I have scraped the canvas twice and the third time was the charm. Only once that's ever happened to me. And now today, so now that makes two. Um, so <laughs> I've totally changed. Let's go again, third time, new colors. Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. Then I have Prussian, no, Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. 24 karat gold by Deco Art. This is my own concoction. It is turquoise, turquoise green. Turquoise green mixed with titanium white. I made a Tiffany blue color with it by Amsterdam. Then I have Pearl Lilac by Arteza and topping it off greenish blue by Amsterdam. Honest to God, you guys, this better work. Or I swear, if this doesn't work, then I'm literally packing it in. It is not my day to paint. The paint gods are not on my side. Not, uh, not just not for me today. So you will see three epic fails. And I will move on and come back from Seattle and be freshed, refreshed, and, and then just, you know, whatever. Um, oh my gosh. Let's just see what happens. I'm like really nervous now because I, I, like, I don't like wasting paint. I get a lot of trolls on Facebook, especially. Oh, such a waste of paint. What a waste of paint. And I never waste paint. I barely waste any paint along the edges after a blowout. And when they dry, the skins, I actually use them and make stuff with them. And I'll show you that at the end of this video, if I remember, I've been working on some jewelry. I'll show it to you. I'm taking it with me to Seattle um, to sell. So, but I've been working on like jewelry stuff. But for those of the people who are gonna probably watch this on Facebook at one point and they say, what a waste of paint, Yes, I will agree with you at this point on this particular video, this is somewhat of a waste of paint because I will, like I said, I will let it dry. I will let it sit here for a week while I'm in Seattle. I'm not gonna touch any of this because this is actually gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll show it to you guys on a close up, but <laughs> it is a waste of paint. Such a waste of paint, but that's what happens. That is what happens in this line of work. You waste some, you don't waste some. It is what it is, man. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna sit and cry about it? It's just paint. I know, you spent money to buy the paint, I get it. But if you don't fail, how are you gonna learn? Okay, this is it, last time, not doing it again, so. Whatever happens, happens. I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't start blowing from the middle. Maybe I should start blowing from the bottom and work, I don't know, but then I won't have enough paint to do a pedal down here. Whatever, let's go. Okay. All right. All right. This worked out better. There's still a lot of blue in here. It, there's so much dominant. The last color I've been putting on top has seems to have like really taken over. Now I'm actually okay with this. I can't say I'm like eh, jumping for joy thrilled. Um, but it's better than attempt two. Now I'm pondering which one was better, attempt one or attempt three. However, I'm leaving this, I'm not touching it. Um, I'm not scraping it and I'm gonna leave it because I really love this. I really love this, but I'm having a little issue with this. I'm not thrilled about that. The rest I'm okay with. Let me, let me fidget, be right back.
Oh, that is so much better. So what I did, as you saw, is I blew into the blue, not out. I blew into the blue here, into the blue here, and into the blue here. So that works so much better and I'm actually happy with this piece now. And I blew a lot of the purple over here. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of like it now. Remember what I've said to you in the past, don't be so quick. I know I scraped so quick the first two, but they were really horrendous. But this one, I guarantee you, I'll come back to it 10 minutes later and I'm actually gonna love, 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 love it. So I'm done. I'm going to bring you guys in for close up. Be right back. <laughs> All right, everybody. So um, you can take your stick and scrape the drips. I'm gonna do that after, <clears throat> but let me just let me just get to this close up. So here's what it looks like um, when it's dry. Obviously, because it's round, you can basically turn it into any composition you want. Do you want to hang it on the wall this way? You can maybe hang it on the wall this way or maybe this way, I don't know, whatever, or like this way, whatever. Um, but it's it's super pretty though, I'm actually really liking it a lot now, and I'm so glad the gold is in there. Gold just makes everything better. Um, there's gonna be a lot of shimmer in here. I'm a little disappointed with the overpowering of the greenish blue by Amsterdam. Um, and there's, you know, it's just, not what I expected. However, let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so the flash is on. And yeah, see, this thing is going to shimmer like crazy once it's dry, once it gets a top coat of crystal resin. You know, it's, it's gonna be pretty sweet. This is why I love gold. There's always pops of gold everywhere everywhere. I'm really liking this now. See, I'm telling you, it's going to grow on you. It really is going to grow. All right, everybody. So there you have it. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Should I have scraped the first piece? Second piece? Should I have left it? What, what would you have done? Although I know you didn't get a close-up of piece one and piece two, but what do you think of piece three? It is available for purchase. For those of you who are interested, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com and you can purchase it. Now let me show you down here. You see all this? This is not wasted paint. This is going to dry. And look at this, look at this. This is gonna be beautiful. By the time I get back in a week, this will be nice and dry. Look at this, let me come on this side. So not much going on on this side, although look at this, that, that's pretty. So these will make great skins. And you wonder, some of you may wonder, well, Canela, what do you do with those skins? Well, let me show you. Okay, let me carefully make my way around my studio here. This is what I've been working on for Seattle. Um, let me see if I can turn my light over here. I don't know, it's kind of dark. Can I turn the light on? All right, so I have been working, look at that, so pretty, necklaces that I'm going to be selling in Seattle. So let's see here. Pretty cute, huh? So I've been doing these. Let's see what else. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at that. There's the shimmer in there. So yeah, I've been doing those. And then look at look at these cute little turtle keychains. So if you will be in Seattle, you have an opportunity to purchase these if you so wish. Look at that. I love these little sea turtles, they're so cute. But uh, whatever doesn't sell, I will bring back home with me and um, will be available for you guys to purchase for those of you who aren't going to be in Seattle. And yeah, that's it. Um, don't mind the mess, I'll show you guys. I'm packing for Seattle. This is my the rest of my studio space. 
Um, I have a sink. I've never had a sink in my studio ever. Um, I've always had to use the bathroom sink. So now I have a studio sink, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> I'll show you guys some of the stuff in here. This is all my cups stuff. But yeah, keeping, I'll just show you one more cupboard. <laughs> my lowly Buffy stock, all my me mediums spray cans all that kind of stuff so yeah it's kind of cool that i have cabinets that i can store stuff in but yeah that's it that is my studio that is my wall of paint pretty cool all right enough for me this is a extremely extremely long video so let me just come back to where i started there you have it my friends <laughs> that is it for me for now um i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, there will be videos posted while I am in Seattle, so don't worry. I've done a bunch of videos so that you guys can see while I'm away. I will be back in a week. Until next time, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.